this is my biggest print ever, and I'm gonna need some real special help. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get to work. Hey, it's Joel. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, proudly powered by PCB Wave. 8% off link in the description. You know what to do, and you know what time it is. It's time to talk about the largest project I've ever done to date, the massive Galactus scene at Orlando Maker Faire. It all started because we were planning to be at Orlando Maker Faire. Always wanted to go, looked like a great time. I wanted to bring something massive, something huge, something that I 3D printed and assembled. Something I can be proud of. Right around that time, Toymaker 3D had a model called Battle Juice, but it's Galactus. And when assembled and done, the few hundred parts you print come to about 29 and a half inches tall, which is great. But for the Orlando Maker Faire, I wanted to go bigger. And so we settled on 3X scale, which meant when done, this was going to be over seven feet tall. What? Just to give you a sense of scale, this is the actual size of the 3D printed 3X scale massive Galactus. And the head would sit way, way up, up here. here where you, where you can't, can't see, see it. it. I was really looking forward to starting this project, but man, this was, this was gonna be tough. At normal scale for this model, all of the parts would fit on a normal 3D printer. But when you start scaling 3X in every dimension, things start to grow bigger, bigger than what the big machines I have can handle. To split up models, we normally think of tools like Luban. That's what people use, but you can do what's needed in your slicer. Within the slicer, there is a cutting tool and that allows you to cut the geometry that you have on the build plate, either with a straight cut or with a dovetail cut. And more importantly, I think within that slicing interface is the ability to add connectors. So as you cut something with a straight cut, you put registration marks on the geometry and then the slicer knows how to figure out a connector between part A and part B. So you print it out and there are connectors in place and you just put it together and it's a really good mechanical connection. Now you can always choose to add glues or in my case, 3D glue that adds to what's there and really solidifies things. But as I showed in a video, if you do a dovetail cut, angle it at a 45 and slide it into place, it is a darn good connection. And just like that, without any 3D glue, we have a very heavy duty reinforced joint. I have a print farm and to print all of these pieces, I think it's safe to say that bed adhesion is paramount. I'm very thankful that I got a visit at the time from the fairy of bed adhesion. Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I mean, the fairy of bed adhesion is always listening for people who need help. What do you have? Is this for me? All right, this is our new cryogrip frostbite plate. But it's orange. It is orange. And it is specifically for the Prusa Core 1 MK4S. Oh, perfect. And MK3 and of everything course. that shares the same plate size. Now this project also though, massive parts, they really have to fit together nearly perfectly. What about bed adhesion? You're gonna get absolutely incredible bed adhesion with this. PLA, PETG, pretty much unparalleled. Oh, perfect. Well, yeah. we're printing it. Yeah. This project is in PLA, massive amounts of Polymaker yeah. PLA. Yeah. You're not gonna be dealing with gaps from where things have warped and bent. Oh, good, 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 Less good. Less sanding, and we, no one likes sanding. No, no one no. likes filler. No one likes sanding at all. Okay, good. All these parts have to fit together incredibly well. This plate is gonna hold on to things, but um, in the farm, I have more than one machine, and this plate can only fit on one. Can you help me out? I got you covered. Oh, this is amazing, dude. Oh, I'm so excited. With the plates on the machines, it was time to hit print. And boy, those machines were running nearly 24 hours a day.
But as time got closer, I could tell I needed to enlist the help of some other machines. And so thankfully, a few of my larger bamboo machines came in and filled in where they could. And together, everything was able to print all of the parts needed. All told, when the printing was done, it was nearly 100 kilograms of material. Massive thank you to Polymaker for seeing the vision and sponsoring the filament for this incredible build of a seven foot tall Galactus. With the printing done, the parts were all there. All nearly 100 kilograms of massive parts for this build. It was imperative that we test fit them because I would hate to ship something, get there, and then have a massive problem because either something doesn't fit or something's too big or small or whatever. And that's what we did. My son David and I and my wife off camera took the time to assemble the small pieces and then stack the large pieces together. There was Galactus standing taller than both of us. I was once little. And once we high-fived with Galactus's hands, we took it apart and packed it into nine separate boxes. The boxes were on their way, and I should be too, so from there, I just had to catch a flight. Ah, oh, I broke it. Did we just break it at the same time? Yeah, we did. I didn't anticipate it breaking and I feel really bad about that, but that's why we got the glue. So uh, we've we've overcome some adversity. We are on track. I'm on gloop duty. Uh, I'm making sure down. all of the joints are all glooped up and we're trying to make sure that he is balanced before we start going too high. I've done so many years of events. I know exactly what kind of like repair stuff and random tidbits and Q-tips, popsicle yeah. sticks, glue. Yeah. I have six kinds of glue with me just to glue all my costumes together when I'm at an event. This is important stuff to have. He's a little top heavy. Um, the ankle joints, they want to rock forward, so I'm just trying to tighten them up as much as possible. Frank's gonna lift it up. We're gonna put screws in, tighten them down, make sure it doesn't fall forwards or backwards. Does this piece go on the top or that the That piece goes right on the, the top. top. Yeah! It's a lot bigger than anything I've built for myself. This is the head, the final piece. I'm the tall person, so I get to put it on. And then we're gonna make sure it doesn't fall over. We're all gonna step away and then we're all going to admire it. <sighs> this project is now at a close because this seven foot tall Galactus is done. Now again, this was printed on the print farm, tons of machines back in Seattle. This is all Polymaker filament, all on those BQ orange plates and 3D glue played a very important role. But the most important roles played here were from my friends. These guys were clutch and I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this because it really ignited my passion for building big things again. And this won't be the last time you see a massive number of parts come together into a glorious statue. I'm excited to do this more. Listen, thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the big things. And as always, high five. You want some? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah!